Our first scripture reading comes from Matthew chapter 21, verses 1 through 11. Jesus visits Jerusalem. Listen now for God's word to us. What kind of trips do you like to take with your family or friends? Have you gone on trips in your city or town or farther away? Did you go on a plane or on a train, in a bus or by car? Jesus traveled to cities and small towns to teach the people about God's love. One of the most important trips he took was to Jerusalem, the special holy city. While he was there, Jesus gave two of the disciples a special task. He said to them, Go into the village. There you will find a young donkey that no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it to me. I want to ride it into Jerusalem. The disciples were surprised Jesus wanted a donkey to ride because he always walked everywhere he went. But they loved Jesus and knew he was an important teacher, so they did what he asked. Jesus told them that if anyone asked why they were taking the donkey, they should tell them that he needed it. They went into the village and found the donkey just like Jesus had told them. They brought the donkey back to Jesus. The disciples laid cloths on its back so that Jesus could ride it. Now Jesus was ready to ride into Jerusalem. The people following him began to cheer. Crowds lined the streets. Some people joined the disciples and spread their cloaks on the road to welcome Jesus. Others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. Others wondered why everyone was so excited about a man entering the city on a donkey. Powerful rulers rode big war horses. The disciples praised Jesus, singing and shouting for joy because of God's love for them. The people welcomed Jesus and shouted, Hosanna to the Son of David! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest heaven! The people in the city were confused. Who is this? they wondered. But the crowds who followed him were saying, This is the teacher and prophet, Jesus, God's Son. Hear this. When have you heard people cheer or shout with joy? See this. Who is in the crowd watching Jesus? Draw a picture of Jesus' followers. Act this out. Think of someone you want to celebrate and praise. How would you show that person that you love them? Our second scripture reading comes from Matthew, chapters 26 and 27. Jesus dies. Listen now for God's word to us. Have you ever been having a good time? And then something bad or sad happens. This is what happened to Jesus after the Passover meal he shared with the disciples. If this part of the story makes you feel sad or scared, listen to it with a friend or family member. Some temple leaders didn't like the way so many people listened to Jesus' teachings. They worried that people might not listen to them. So that night, they came to the garden where Jesus was praying. Judas, one of the disciples, pointed them to Jesus. The temple guards grabbed Jesus and arrested him. They took him to the temple leaders. If you are the one God has sent, tell us, the temple leaders said. If I answer, you won't believe me, said Jesus. Are you God's son? they asked. You say that I am, answered Jesus. They took Jesus to Pilate, who is the Roman leader in Jerusalem. Are you the king of the Jews? Pilate asked. If you say, I am, Jesus answered. Pilate knew that the Roman king didn't want another king in the land. Pilate didn't think Jesus had done anything wrong, but some of the temple leaders said he had. Pilate decided to let the people decide if Jesus should die. So Pilate had Jesus and a murderer named Barabbas brought before a crowd of people. Which one should I set free? Pilate asked. Some people shouted, Barabbas! Let Barabbas go free! If that's what you want, said Pilate. The soldiers led Jesus to the top of a hill to die. A crowd followed, but only a few women who followed Jesus stood close to him. About noon, the sky became very dark, like night without stars. Then Jesus died. His disciples and followers were sad. How could they live without Jesus? Hear this. When you are sad or scared, 
What do people say to comfort you? See this. If you had been in the crowd, what would you have seen and heard? Act this out. Write a note or draw a picture for someone who is sad. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God 